it's a good day. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name scrolling past your knees feet, it's Sharon, not Sharon. Hello, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It, I don't even know what type of dance that is, but it's my birthday. Yay. Okay, making coffee. Making coffee. Making coffee. Making coffee. Making coffee. Making coffee. Okay, we're getting the almond milk together. All right, I've got my um, water going here. I'm going to make a vanilla latte today with whipped cream because it's my birthday. I do what I want. Like, that's just, yes. Yay! It's my birthday. So, is it done? It's done. It's done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. 38, man. 38. Can't even believe it. 38 today. <sighs> it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. I am decreeing and declaring it's going to be a fantastic day. You know, it has to be a great day because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Okay, let's make the coffee. And we need this hot like, almond milk to like do what it's supposed to do here so we can make this. Yay! Okay, so I don't really have much... You know, like, I'm 38 years old. Like, what do you do when you're 38? <laughs> um, well, I don't, I don't party anymore, so I don't need to party. But what I did clean my carpet. That was something I really wanted to do. Like, like I'm like, what do I want for my birthday? I want my carpets cleaned. <laughs> so I cleaned my carpets. That made, that made me feel good. Pat myself on the back. Um, that's it. That's it. Um, oh, 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 I want to um, get my deck together today. So today, oh, I bought a really, really pretty rug. I'm going to show you guys all like the before and afters and everything. Keep a lookout on my stories and everything because I'm going to show you guys like the before and afters of like my little deck because um, I've been living here in this townhouse for like 10 years and I've never really sat on my deck until the coronavirus and now I'm just like I really really enjoy this like spot in my house now so I'm just like trying to like create like a like a nice like oasis I guess you would call it you know and so um I bought this really 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 pretty rug um that I'm gonna put up there and I'm gonna get like a table I have already my little spider plant that I have downstairs but I'm gonna put upstairs um thinking about like I don't know I'm thinking about a couple things so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good Ooh, this is getting hot now. We're going to stop you. Put our thing in here. So that's pretty much it. Like, that's it. Like, I mean, like, when I say birthday party, I'm like, yeah, let's get together. Like, <laughs> get together. Like, hey. Like, that's it. To make this vanilla, I'm going to add in um, vanilla extract. And then I have my um, hot almond milk. So good. Uh, because I wanted a lot of vanilla today. It's my birthday. I wanted I want to just use that as like an excuse all day long. Like it's my birthday, so it's my birthday. I'm gonna add more vanilla. It's my birthday. I'm gonna add whipped cream to my latte. It's my birthday. And this is what we're gonna do. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Birthday latte, birthday latte. Where's this? Cinnamon. There it is. Yay! Okay. All right. So I bought my cake already. I typically make my own cake, but I was like, I'm not going to do it. So, show you guys the one person that's here. It's my cake. I'm so excited. Okay, because this is really... Okay, so they have um, strawberry cake. So, I'm getting... Stra I have strawberry cake here. Strawberry cake. Strawberry cake is my favorite. Strawberry cake is my favorite. So, this is... Okay, and then I got, I got smaller ones, too. We got like red velvet and like confetti cake. Ah, 
it's all got it. Thank you, Kenyatta. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So that's that's pretty much the extent. I got some cards from like um from a mother-in-law, and I got um a present from my son, um and something from my husband here. So it's gonna it's gonna be a good day. I am decreeing declaring it's gonna be a fantastic day. Like that's it. It's gonna it's gonna be a great day. It's, it's really gonna be a good day, especially because I got this good vanilla latte here. Mmm, yay! And it tastes all with the vanilla and stuff too. It's gonna be a good day, you guys. I'm 38. I can't believe it. 38. I was actually thinking about um, just actually making it here. You know, like I, 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 I know. Like people go, like you, I, you never thought you were gonna make it here, but like 38 is really. It's a. That's. We're knocking on 40's door. That's number one. And number two, a couple things I've realized that I don't, like, take crap anymore. Like, because, I don't know. Maybe it's because I got older. Like, I don't know. Like, that that being older is, like, I guess it's, like, getting... It's awesome because you just don't care. Like, there's, like, a level of, like... It's, like, I guess it's... I, let's call it... I guess we call it a BS meter. Like, your BS meter starts going off, like immediately because you're older now and you've seen it before and you're just like mm, mm, I don't really know and so <laughs> hey thanks thank you thank you thank you thank you so yeah I'm like anyway so I my BS meter is like completely like off like the Richter scale now because like um I've already been there and done that, and there's nothing new under the sun. And because that, because of that, because of that, I don't have to take any of the crap any longer because I've already seen it before. And I don't have to allow stupid things to happen to me any longer because I've been there, done that. We don't have to do that any longer, right? Right? You live and you learn, right? When you know better, you do better. So anyway, there is that! And that's it, you guys. Like, that's really, that's pretty much it. Like, that's it. 38 is, that's it. I just, like, oh, oh, Google is recognizing me. Google, I, you know, I'm getting, I have, like, a little cake. Um, Google is, like, saying happy birthday to me. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool and interesting because, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's because, like, your girl's been, like, on, like, social media for, like, hella years. It's been literally been almost 10 years that I've been on, like, social media just, like, like, doing something on social media. It's been 10 years, almost. So, anyways. It's gonna be a good day! And then I'm gonna, like, okay, fix my deck. I'm gonna chill, have some cake. And, you know, like, yesterday was almost 80 degrees. So, it was, like, 76 degrees outside here in California. That's gonna be, so... I don't know what, I don't know what today is going to bring. I have no idea. I'm sure it's going to be just as nice. So, I, I just don't want the wind. Like, no wind, because your girl's allergies are, like, up there. Like, they're, like, up there. Like, really up there. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, that's it. It's going to be a good day. I have no other content except for it's going to be a good day. That's it. I'm not taking anything else. Oh, also, too, if y'all want to support your girl, like, for her birthday, like, just become a loyal customer. Purchase some coffee. Drink coffee with me. If you don't want any coffee, that's fine. I have tea. You know, not a problem. Because um, I know people do, like, that cash app thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not, excuse me, I'm not, like, that type of app girl. Like, the apps that I use are solely for bit are solely for my business, um, and Cash App. Um, I just don't like the way it. Like I don't know why. I know people. I know a lot of people use it. Obviously, um, I just don't use it. So anyway, I, I'm not a Cash App girl. But if you guys would like to sew into your girl, um, I do have PayPal. You guys can totally do that, and or become a loyal customer. That's my goal. Like, my goal is to get to, um, the rank diamond so that I can, like, 
first of all, have that, um, that complete full time schedule on these full time pay because I'm almost at full time pay, but I haven't been at full time pay yet. So, um, diamond would actually get me there. And so that right there, that's one of my goals. So, um, and I'm very, very actually super, super close to that. So, um, you purchasing like something from my website will definitely help me get there. Um, other than that, um, to help support your girl, like just, just love me. That's it. Like I'm, I'm not like a person who's like, I don't need you to like give me any money or anything like that. Just love me. Just like, that's it. Like, that's it. That's it. Just be kind. Just love me. Just, you know, just, that's it. Just first Corinthians 13, Sharon. <laughs> that's it. Like that's, that's all I'm asking from people. Like you want to ever support me, support your girl. Just love me. That's it. Just love me. And I'm not saying like that caveat piece of like, you know, like I love you with the love of the Lord. Because, but when you do something I, like you make a mistake, I'm going to cut you out of my life. Like, no, that's not the type of love I'm talking about. I'm talking about like if you if like your girl makes a mistake, you still love her. You know what I'm saying? Like your girl makes a mistake. You still like you're not going to try to cut her off. We're not trying to cancel culture people. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not the word of God. You know, like I'm saying like, just love me. That's it. That's it. I love you. You love me. That's all good. Like. I pray for you, you pray for me, we will survive. Like, that's pretty much all it is. Like, supporting Sharon, asking, like, all those things. Like, I just said, all I just need, prayer and love. That's it. That's it. I'm not, like, a person. I'm not, I, I'm not a materialistic person too much. <laughs> I'm not a materialistic person too much. I do like nice things. But the thing about that is, is that I would much rather... I would much rather have people around me that love me and care for me than anything. Like, that's just really where it's at, like, in my life. Like, having people in my life that for real love me and care for me. Like, that is it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want you to... Thank you so much, Quentin. I don't want you to tolerate me. I want you to love me for who Sharon is. Like, who she is. I'm quirky. I'm funny. I'm silly, you know, um, I love the Lord, all those things. Hey, Aisha, how are you? Thank you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, love me for who Sharon is. Like, don't love me for who you want me to be in your life. Love me for who Sharon is right now. And that's all I'm asking. That's it. That is it. That's it. I don't want you to, like, tolerate me. I want you to love me for who Sharon is. And that's it. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Because your girl, I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. I am not, like, there's only one perfect one, and that is Jesus. Let me tell you something. He, he's only one, you know, and I we fall short every day. We fall short of the glory. Hallelujah. And I do that every day because I ain't perfect. But all I'm saying is that, like, <laughs> all I'm saying is that like love you know um is all I'm asking that's it that's it and I don't I know you will never have like the caveat of love from me like that's it like if I tell you that I love you it's for real for real I'm not gonna just like I love you with the love of the Lord and then when you like do something hurting for me like I'm not gonna talk to you anymore like no no God didn't tell me to burn bridges like that. <laughs> he didn't tell me to burn bridges like that. What he did tell me is to love. And that's what I'm called to do. And all I'm asking in that in that realm is for and in return. That's it. That's it. And it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fantastic day. Okay? Keep telling yourself that. Even if it's not. Like even if you feel like it's not going to be a good day. Keep telling yourself it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Because what you tell yourself matters. What you tell yourself matters. Not what other people say. Not what Sharon says. Like, I can tell you some things, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, literally. It's what you say to yourself. Like, how, you know, like, how are you going to do it? Like, how are you going to be able to, like, tell yourself each day that it's going to be a good day? You know? Even though what you're seeing may not be, like, a good day. You still have to continue to keep telling yourself that. Like, you know, it, it can't, it can't, there cannot be a situation on where, like, you know, um, 
you're not grateful and thankful for where you're at. And that's where, that's just where I'm at, like, in, like, 38. Like, I am just really grateful for where I'm at, you know? Like, I'm really grateful. Thank you, Roberta. Right? I don't know. I'm just really grateful to be 38, to be here, you know, like, to have lost 80 pounds and kept it off. Like, that's huge. Like, that's really big. You know, my husband, my husband loves it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I like laugh when people are like telling me that they need to go ask their husband. I'm like, my husband loves it. <laughs> he loves it. It's not like, he's like, when you go get some more product. You know, like that's just where it's happening. Oh, you guys are such a blessing. I'm like seeing all this like, things like pop up on my like Facebook right now it's like post on your timeline Topo thank you guys so much like audibly like thank you guys so much like like I'll tell you like about I'll let's talk about real real being on this platform you don't expect people to like care that much you know like I mean I don't know like it's, you know, I'm just, you don't expect people to do, you, you don't expect people to really care, you know, like, I don't know, you know, like care enough to go on a live, you know, watch you for X amount of time, care enough to, you know, wish you good, you know, a good day, good, you know, a happy birthday, like, that's, a, that's really huge, you know, like, that's really, really huge, it really is, and I don't, I don't take any of those things lightly, I really don't. I really appreciate. It. I'm really, I'm really, truly grateful because this platform, it, it's hard to have a platform like this. It's really hard to be in the public eye, like all the time, like, like doing everything because everybody's like watching you doing like, whether you're doing good or bad or indifferent or whatever, people are always watching you, you know, and the, this being on Facebook live, um, I really, I've really enjoyed it. I started, first I started doing this on Periscope. I started doing it on Periscope. And I was, oh, there's like stuff on my ring. Um, and I started doing like more cooking and everything and showing people, you know, how, how you know, to cook from scratch and everything like that. Um, and then I started to transition to more of health, you know, because I realized that I wasn't like watching my portions or anything like that. And so it was allowing me to, you know, gain the weight that I was gaining and not, you know, be any type of healthy. And so, like, all of a sudden now, like, I'm, like, eating, like, you know, I'm still cooking food, but I'm, like, just all I want to do is just find a good fat burner. Like, that's all I really wanted was a good fat burner. And then when I realized, like, that this, like, business, like, is that and that, like, it just, like, changed my whole life. Like, it changed my whole life. And when I say it changed my life, like I, I'm like, I was 266 pounds, like losing 80 pounds, like that already in itself is changing your life. But the steps that got me to where I'm at today, you guys don't under, I don't know. I, I don't know how I can try to articulate in that into words, like what I went through because like. I did a lot of reading. I've done a lot of reading. I've done a lot of soul searching. I've done a lot of reading in the word. I've done a lot of, um, just, just thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, birthday twin. Thank you. I've done a lot of soul searching. I've done a lot of like thinking and like, just kind of just like, and, and, Reading myself of insecurities, reading myself of insecurities, because I was never a girl that took the, the pictures that I do now. Like, that's a huge thing for me. Like, I would always only just take, like, face selfies. Like, there was never, like, a full shot of me. Like, I could show you in my on my Google pictures, <laughs> I can show you my Google pictures, like the pictures I used to take 
to the pictures that I take now. And it's only a testament to me being in this business and diving into sh who Sharon really is. Like people say like, um, and it's really, really true. People say that like, um, multi-level multi marketing business is like a personal development plan wrapped up in a business. And it really is true because you have to, you have to know who you are. You have to believe in yourself. You can't do this willy nilly. This is not like something where like you just, oh my gosh, like, let me just go ahead and just like grab a business. No, like you have to know who you are. Like, I have to know who I am in Christ in order to be able to, like, come on here live. Like, that's, like, really. If I didn't know who I was in Christ, like, you guys probably would never be able to see me. Because God would never allow me to be on a public platform not knowing who I am in Him. Period. It's just really where it's at. And just being that, like, that confident in knowing who He is and who He is through me. Period. Because my biggest prayer, and I, I like... My biggest prayer on this platform is like, yeah, I want you guys to see Sharon, but I don't really want you to see Sharon. I want you to see the Lord in me, you know, regardless if I'm just making the coffee, I'm sitting here just talking, whatever. I want you to see who the Lord is through Sharon. You know, I want you to see that. I don't want you to see Sharon because I'm a flawed person. I am not like perfect. I am not at all. You know, um, I love hard. I love hard. But I'm a super flawed person. And so, but Jesus is not. He's not flawed. He's amazing. And so we, you, it, the fact that it, 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 any piece through any of my like Facebook lives and you are able to see the Lord, I've done my job. That And that's all I really want is just the Lord to be able to be shown through me. Period. You know, the Bible says that he roams, you know, the earth seeking who he can show himself strong through. And I pray that like every single day that you guys see a piece of that strength through me, through the Lord, you know, from the Lord through me. Because it really means nothing being on this platform if none of that is happening. And that's, on the, that's really where it's at for me, you know, like I can be on, I, it doesn't matter like any, it, and like, I don't know, maybe other people like on their platform may not feel that way. I don't know. Like I, I have no idea. I can't speak for them. I can only speak for myself. And all I can say is that being on this platform is super humiliating. Like, you have to be humble. You have to. You know, like, there's a lot of, there are a lot of factors to coming on live, you know, that people are not really kind of understanding or maybe seeing that, you know. Like, it really, it really takes a uh, a strong person to come on live all the time and to give it all the time, give like 150% every single time. You know, this is why I take days off. Oh, bless your heart. And I, and I, and glory to God, really glory to God that you see that because that's, it's only God. It's only God. I, cause because before your girl would be like a cussing person. I was cussing. I was angry. I was upset. I was depressed. I was all the things. But because Jesus lives inside me for real, for real. Like for real. Like I don't even play the games. Like that's not even like, a, it's not even a game for me. Like it's not a game. Like I can't even like, when like when people ask me for advice, like the only advice I can give you is to work from the word of God. There's nothing, there's nothing else I can tell you. There's nothing else I can tell you. And before, I would be like just off the top of my head, just sharing, just blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, I have this wisdom and knowledge and understanding from the word of God that allows me to share in such a way and allows me to live my life in such a way that is just, it's peaceful. It's peaceful here. It's peaceful. And I never, ever thought that I would ever be able to be in a spot like this, like just in like, just peace. You know, when I was a kid, like there was never like, like after eight years old, like everything changed for me, like in a big like, being a kid, you know, and you know, both my parents like ended up going to jail. Like one was on one side of the jail and the other one was in another jail, on the other side of the jail. And it's just like, 
when you grow up and things are kind of broken in that sense, there you can go one way or you can go the other way. You know, like you can go, okay, like my parents went to jail. Like that's how I'm going to live my life. You know, I'm going to live my life that way. Or, or I could turn and completely, completely repent from all of that life and never even walk towards that at all. Like literally, literally, you know, like. When you've grown up with that type of like situation in your life where your like one parent was in one side of jail and the other parent was in the other and that's like how you went to go see them like that changes you like it really does it's not like something that like oh like like both my parents were like together like in a, together in jail like <laughs> do you know what I'm saying like and that's just like a piece of my story y'all like that's just a piece like a piece and this business is flipping and changing everything because what my family what what they were doing in a legal in, in a legal sense I'm doing in the legal sense let me say that again when my parents did things in the illegal sense I'm doing things in the legal sense and that is changing everything and I see why I have a lot of opposition from the enemy. He doesn't, why would he, why would he want me to break through? Right? Like why? When I came through so much of that, you would much rather me just stay upset, depressed and everything of all of like my, of the way I brought up, was brought up and never feel as though I can ever move and move forward in my life. And I'm like, really for real, like, and when I say break free, I'm for real breaking free because what I'm about to do in this business has never been seen or done in my family ever, ever, ever. There's not a blueprint for what I'm about to do. There's not a blueprint. I'm about to do something that some in my family, nobody's ever seen or done before. And that's make a full year salary in one month. They've never. And I'm not saying that in like a sense of like, my nose is running. In a sense of saying that that's like a bad thing or anything like that. It's not bad. Like everybody's had a job and everything like that. Nobody's like ever had anything like that where they weren't working. It's just the opportunity of being able to have a business that can give you that amount of money in a month. That changes everything. That changes everything. That's leaving all sorts of crap behind. That's never, ever, ever, ever being able to have that type of situation of me or my son or anybody or anybody that's younger than me and my family will ever be able to see a parent on the right hand side of the jail and a parent on the left hand side of the jail that would never that would never happen that would never happen because why because right now what i'm about to do in my family is about to change everything it's about to change everything and so when I post about like, you know, joining my business or, you know, it's not just like a, you know, it's not just like a fun hobby for me. Like it's serious business for me. It's serious business to get up and out and break that like bloodline crap of never having enough or having that like mentality of like you want to have more, but you have to do it illegally to get that more. That's the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And that's what I came to do. Like, that's what I came to do. I came to break the trajectory of what my family's life thought it was going to be. It stops here. Like, it stops here. My son, um, which he is 11, 
but he's literally the first boy in over 40 years in my my on my dad's side of the family. That's super huge, guys. That's a huge that's a whole generation. And so when I thank you so much. So when I realized that, like I don't have time to play around. Like I have a whole generation to be able to teach and show complete different. And and when I can do that successfully, for real, for real, it's going to be amazing. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, that's that's it. Like, that's, that's Sharon in a nut. That's Sharon in a nutshell. Like, you guys ever wanted to know, like, the deepness of it? That's where it is for me. I'm here to break the crap. To break the monotony of what it it was thought they were going to have in my family. They thought. And now I'm breaking it. What is it? What do they call it? Bloodline breaker? It's what we about to do. That's what we about to do. And so every purchase, everybody, anybody who's ever been a loyal customer with me, like, you've been a part of that. Like, that's what you're a part of. Like, you're a part of Sharon breaking a bloodline curse in my family. That's where it's at. Like, that's the deep of it. Like, you guys can purchase products from somebody else. That's no problem. Like, there's a lot, there's a couple people doing it at work. So it's not, you know, I ain't nobody different. But what you guys are doing, like, when you purchase from Sharon, you're helping me break bloodline curses in my family and ne never allowing them to happen again ever and so if you've ever purchased from me before or if you're getting ready to purchase or if you're ever thinking about it thank you thank you so much because if that purchase has got me that much closer to completely breaking that bloodline ridiculousness in my family Amen. Yeah. Thank you. That's where it's at. I'm making it so that my son, which is the first boy in my dad's side of the family, the first gener the first new generation of boys, men, will never be able to see what they all seen before, which was lack, ridiculousness, Poverty, um, blame, all just ridiculousness. And I'm not, I, I'm not saying it as like a regretful thing. I'm just saying that's what it was, and this is what we're doing. So, I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. And I didn't was not expecting to get so super serious, but I felt like. In my spirit, for whatever reason, we needed to go here just so you guys can hear my heart on this. Like, it's this is not a, um, like a hobby for me. This is a real thing. And when I when I hit that rank, it's because I broke the bloodline curse seriously. And I I I fully I fully believe that this is the reason why I'm having such a hard time breaking through. It's because of that, the enemy knowing that once, once, once this happens, there's no going back. And he will completely have lost. Completely have lost. Completely have lost. All right. I'm going to drink my latte. Mmm. Mm. Yes. And I'm going to get going here. But I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you guys in advance for just saying happy birthday. Like, I really don't take it lightly. You don't have to come I'm on my page and do all those things. Like, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you're watching on the replay, thank you. Thank you. Now, 
because this is who I am. And if I were to be, if I was seeing you, this is what'd be happening. So I want you to take your hands, one, one, take it and squeeze yourself and squeeze and take the hug from Sharon because I am such a good hugger and I love you and I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a good day.